The Austin Independent School District is short, more than 130 teachers to fully staff schools. There have been several complaints about class sizes being too big. The district blames a teacher shortage. One thing that I think most people don't understand is that politicians make the decision to cut funding for public education. Somebody's job goes away, but the duties, the responsibilities of that job stay there. So teachers have to pick up all of this slack, all of these administrative tasks, all of this organizational work that is crucial and has to be done, but is not the work of teachers. We need smaller class sizes. Kids shouldn't be in a class full of 30 people. We have teachers who are stretched too thin and paid too little. It's so easy to let someone fall through the cracks when you're doing that by yourself. By investing hundreds of billions of dollars in hiring and in training those staff, we're creating a space where students know that they're going to be supported, where they're gonna have their needs met. So when they come to the classroom, they are ready to learn. The Green New Deal for Public Schools is going to put more workers in schools. That investment that would allow us to hire the right number of teachers so that I don't have classes of 35, so that my colleagues don't have classes of 40. With the Green New Deal for Public School and this federal funding, we're going to be able to invest in teachers in a way that they haven't been invested in in such a long time. Give them the resources they need so they can give the education that the kids deserve. An investment in public education this bold is uh, just I don't think I could convey with words how revolutionary that would be for public education in this country. So the Green New Deal to me is just a beacon of hope.